Oh god. So now we're getting into the uh, the more complicated ones. So we've got a drawbridge here, so we've got the old hydraulics. And if I remember from the first game, this kind of layout means your hydraulics do something first. Then the boat comes, or hydrofoil comes in this case. Then your hydraulics do something else. And then the guy on the moped tries to make it across. So it's called a drawbridge. So I'm guessing that's where they want you to go with it. Let's see if that's the best idea though. I'm not sure. Some levels have hydraulics, would you like? No, I'm an engineer, fool! Alright, so if I learned anything from the previous game and all your lovely comments, lovely, then I know you have to mirror shit. So copy, flip horizontal, and then I've basically just mirrored that over there. And then I remember you can make a split joint by pressing J. So basically that means this joint will split into two and the ones with the numbers, and basically the numbers of the same group will stick together. So the ones will stick on this side and the twos will stick on that side. So that looks good, I think. All right, so if I want to make this a drawbridge, I probably need to get rid of those and swap them with hydraulics. They need to contract, so that's a meter. I don't know what dimension this grid is, but 50%, that means that will move to there. And hopefully, I think these joints just like bend, not bend, but you know, like act like a hinge. So if that goes 50%, that will go to there somewhere, which will lift this up. Might do a bit more than 50, I reckon. Oh no, 50 is the max you can do. Okay, so we will give that a go and see what happens. Oh. I love that you can watch the camera now. Beautiful, look at that, straight through. And then next hydraulic stage. Oh, and I think that joint glow glowing yellow was a uh, joint locking back together, so that's cool. Max stress 38, so that was pretty poor if I'm honest. It made it first time, which is cool. Um, but not the most efficient bridge looking at some of these scores. Let's see what some of the other people came up with. So we've got completely ignoring that we're meant to be doing a drawbridge. But that's cool. Outside the box. Oh, that's nice. An up and down. You don't want a drawbridge, you want a... and a jump. That's cool. Okay, I really like that. I'm definitely going to keep an eye on these other solutions. These are really cool. Right, next level. Some checkpoints reverse the direction of the car. Oh, so he drives that way and then comes back. Hence the flag's on the same side as the car. Okay, that's cool. Should be able to wang this one out pretty quick. Let's have a go at this trace tool. So, if I try and make this a bit more interesting than my usual. So we'll do that. I might turn the snap off. And I'm gonna have a go. Ish. At following this line. And that's the lovely curve that I was just following, as you can tell. <laughs> this is why I'm an engineer and not an architect. <laughs> this is so shit. <laughs> oh, what have I done? Okay, so let's... <laughs> Can you imagine driving down the road and seeing this? <laughs> so we'll see what that does, though. Oh, it looks a bit suspect over here, but it made it. So it's going to turn around. Nice. Ooh. So that wasn't too bad, despite its looks. Oh, 98.7% again. And the top 5%. Alright, that, that was cool. <laughs> top 5%. I proper wing that, just like my exams. Yeah, so rope and cable are strong and long. But they cannot be compressed. So, as I touched on in Polybridge 1. Let's turn this snap back on. Uh, you've got your kind of two basic principles of material here. So you've got your wood, which works really well. Well, your wood and your steel. You can't use steel in this level. The wood and steel in this game work really well in compression. Which means when the force is, like, coming in from this side, so, say, gravity acting down, it's good at being crushed. Um, and it's not so good. Like, it's, it's still got some strength in it, but it's not as good as being stretched out. So it's not as good in tension. However, if you were to try and do that with a rope, like, it can't support 
its own weight. It's absolutely useless in compression. It's not just not good, it's useless. So obviously, just as an example, I'll create this bridge as a truss. But basically, this is our truss. So I think I can pause. Oh god damn, it's... Anyway, just take my word for it. Rope, cable, good at getting stretched, really shit at being compressed. Right, so what I've just noticed straight away is these joints are directly above the balloon. The balloon? <laughs> Why are there balloons? Right, so I think most people when they try this, they'd probably get the rope and they'd be like, oh, let's do this everywhere and that sort of thing. I don't think we need to go that route, so I'm going to delete them. And looking at these, this uh, grid being completely lined up, so we've got the balloon and directly beneath it, we have a point from our truss. So I reckon that could be a way of doing it, so... Assuming that these don't move like actual balloons would. Um, that's not going anywhere, so this is just going to be pulled tight. And that should help hold this truss up, because remember it's a truss, it's got decent strength all the way along it. So, if we were to play that... So it holds itself. And it holds the... Fire truck, yeah it does! Sweet! Uh, not too under budget there. 20 grand out of 24, so don't know where we're gonna be. Top 19, that's cool. Okay, nice. Shall I have a good- nah, I'm not- Well, let me know in the comments if you want to see me in the future, future vids. If you want to see me try and get as high up this leaderboard as possible, let me know and I'll try and use my engineering judgement, which I have plenty of. I'll try and use that to um, get high up the leaderboards. If not, just let me know and I won't. Right, so I'm guessing this vehicle looks- Oh, it tells you the mass and the speed. So if I could get my calculator out, I could proper work- No, I'm not- I'm not going to. I probably couldn't anymore. Right, start the road, straight across. What I'm thinking, we've got a support down here. Keep it simple. Triangles, always with the triangles. But then this time, we go under triangle. I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna mirror it again. Because why wouldn't you mirror when you have the option? So I think I might wanna straighten that up because I'm just thinking from a engineering physics point of view as the force comes down there it's gonna get taken so it's gonna take this away so if you try and straighten this up to make that completely straight okay so that's pretty much where I wanted it but that's probably not gonna work I'm gonna lower these as well that could be a mistake so that looks nice engineering straight lines that's what I'm all about yeah so these two points really need to be joined together. Hopefully that will reach. Oh, it does reach. Okay. So we'll see what this does. It's... Oh, look at that. Oh, oh man. But that, ladies and gents, is how you do a bridge. 95% stress. Oh, but I'm only in the top 29%, which isn't great if I'm honest, but it worked. Let's go to the next level. First jump. Sometimes jumping a gap is the best solution. Okay, so obviously he wants us to do a bit of a jump. Got a car that's caning it 10.5 meters a second down this hill. I'm guessing it wants us to do a jump. Ah, oh, so this one we got numbers and I'm pretty sure they're the number of pieces we can use. I'm gonna quickly just do this in steel, just because I want to see roughly how fast this thing goes and how far it's gonna fly. All right, so for this, I'm gonna turn off the grid and I'm just gonna make it a bit smoother. So I'm guessing this isn't gonna absolutely cheese it, is it? Let's press play, see what happens. <laughs> well, I did go for it. Um, yeah, that was a silly mistake. So. <laughs> Can anyone spot what I did wrong there? It's because this whole section, this triangle, is just on its own. There's nothing holding it up. So I just need to wang that in. If I had a bit of rope, that might have been a good place to put it, because I don't think it's really going to get compressed. We'll see. Anyway, now I can do my proper test and see how far he goes. So, it broke. 
Ooh, and he made it to there. So I think we had something down here. So potentially, we could... So a bit of road is that long. So we could actually make him land on there. I've just noticed down here as well. This is completely new to me. So spring. So I wonder if you could have a bouncy landing. Oh, so you can actually change how... Stretch or compressed they are. I assume if they're compressed... So you want to play this, that will move down, will it? Oh no, it moves... <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> oh man. Okay, that... <laughs> that was fun. So, when they're stretched... Oh yes! Yes, yeah, so okay. You kind of need to ignore the... How you would really think about it and kind of look how many springs there are. So when it's compressed, it means it's actually compressed. There's way more coils in the spring than there would be if you did the opposite way. So if I do this one, we should whoop, sink down. Yeah, so that's absolutely pointless. But I'm thinking, if I can get this car to land on this, let's keep it neutral and see what neutral does. So neutral, I assume it's going to stay at that height, and then hopefully the car will land on it. I'm gonna- I'll change the top so it doesn't break. I just wanna see if it's gonna work. Ooh. Bit heavier than I thought. So maybe... I can attach this. This doesn't get longer, does it? No. I don't really know what I'm doing, I'm not gonna lie. No, so that just pulls it over. Right, let me think about this. I gotta think about this. Na 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 can you make a truss out of springs? This is what I'm wondering. You can make a truss out of springs. Okay, this could be interesting. <laughs> um, not quite what I was aiming for. Yep, he went underwater, all right. Let's try reinforced road. Is that strong as hell? I don't see why I can't completely spring this up. I like the look of it. Let's not throw it out yet. Oh, he nearly made it actually. Because at the moment he's completely nose diving. Let's watch it again. All right, so Piers pause. Okay. So he's coming down. <laughs> he's coming down at that angle, which isn't great. I'm not gonna lie. So what I might, I might tweak this a bit just to try and change his angle so he lands on his wheels a bit more. You can see that stressing already. He's not even gone over it yet. Ugh. Right, so I think that looks good for the top. And then the bottom. Right, let's just see what happens on this one. So he's coming in. Oh, didn't break. Oh, and that didn't break. I think we are on something. If we can just get him to land. I could put another bit of road there. Yeah, let's try that actually, because then he can actually drive it. These were reinforced, weren't they? He's flying over, he's gonna land. Oh, so close. Fair play, he's like still trying to get up there. Okay, so do I need all of this to be springs? Or can I swap them with a bit of wood? It obviously doesn't look as cool. I'm not entirely convinced how useful the springs were in the truss. Besides from looking cool. Oh, he made it! But we did break one piece. So let's try again. So it was that piece that broke. As a quick fix, we'll just swap that with a bit of steel, actually. So steel brings you 17... Let's see what spring does. So I'm not... So springs are cheaper than steel. So I don't think a spring's gonna break. Let's see how this works. Oh. Oh. <laughs> so that one break. Or if I swap that one with a spring as well. This is wicked. I'm well happy with this. Oh, he made it! He made it! Did you see that? My first jump. Oh, something broke. I've got a star. Oh no, that was my first attempt with the wood. But I haven't tried normal roads. 
So you should always try in this trial and error type scenario is do your weakest things and then replace bits if you need them. Likewise up here. I'm saying this, I'm not actually doing it myself. So these probably don't need to be steel, not these two short pieces anyway. So I can make them wood. I've made this one still because it's a really long way. So we'll see if that still holds. If that still holds, that's fine. So it's this middle bit of road broke. So we'll swap that with a reinforced one. Let's see if that's any better. I'm glad this worked because I chewed off a fair amount of cost there. Yeah, they might all have to be reinforced to be fair. Let's make these a bit bigger because I did make them... Oh shit. So equilateral triangles, that's what you're aiming for. So all sides are the same si same length. That's the strongest and the most efficient, so that's what we're aiming for. Oh, we did break there. So just that one. I'm really convinced just to swap bits for springs. We're in the 16,000 territory now though. Please, 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 please. Oh. We made it. 7,000 top 18%. So not great. Not gonna lie. Oh, and it seems like loads of people did the old springs. It wasn't just me getting excited. Oh, look at that one. Right, so we've done the first 10 levels. Uh, hope you enjoyed that. But yeah, I think we're done for today. Um, quite enjoyed this. Not gonna lie, those springs are fun as hell. So I'm really looking forward to getting through some of these later levels. If you want me to skip ahead to any of these in the next video, give me a shout in the comments. If you want me to go back and do some of the leaderboards, give me a shout in the comments. And yeah, if you want me to focus on explaining principles, how stuff works, happy to do that. Obviously, I'm not that much use if you look at my comments from my first video. If you want me to stop pretending that I'm good at Polybridge, and focus on my day job, let me know in the comments. On that note, cheers, see you later.